Hey, what's up YouTube? So, in this video, I want to have a discussion and speculate on a recent topic from the last chapter of One Piece. This topic will revolve around the three samurais of Wano that aided the previous daimo of Wano, Odin. So, after the couple of chapters that recently came out, I've seen people and myself questioning which characters will fill in the roles for the prophesied nine samurais. I've seen some people of the community believe that all nine members of the Straw Hat crew will be the nine samurais. Some believe it's the retainers and Inuarashi and Nekomamushi along with some of the supernovas. I'm more swayed by the latter, but since chapter 921, it's pretty obvious the three samurais will fill in these roles, not all of them, but some. And I believe that we have already seen two of the prophesied three samurais. These members are the Tengu, who was Tama's mentor, and Shuten Maru. Now, I've heard a lot of people say that Shuten Maru is Ashura Doji, which I also agree with. I haven't heard much people agree with Tengu being amongst the, one of the nine samurais. I can see Tengu and Ashura Doji joining the Pirate Mink Ninja Alliance and helping the Straw Hat crew. However, the third samurai I do not think has been shown to us in previous chapters, and I believe he will be an entirely new character. So, why do I believe Shuten Maru is Ashura Doji? Well, in chapter 921, when Oda drew the silhouette for those three samurais, the silhouette in the middle resembles Shuten Maru. The hair and top knot look very similar, as well as how the body is drawn. Also, when we were introduced to Shuten Maru, he kept going on about how there were no longer any samurai left because there weren't any real men left. And we know that Ashura Doji was once a samurai under Odin, so he was amongst other samurais like Kinomon, Okiku, Kawamatsu and Denjiro. So, as those were his comrades, he probably holds the rank of samurai really high. So, linking back to Shuten Maru and Ash Ashura Doji, it reinforces that he was once a samurai, as he knows the morals and character needed to be a samurai. As I'm guessing from his statement, he doesn't believe other samurais in Wano hold these attributes. And we know Ashura Doji was once a criminal, and Shuten Maru is a bandit, so he probably reverted to his original ways after the death of Odin. Also, his skill with the sword just emphasises even more that he was once a samurai as he literally caught a calamity and made Jack cough blood. Jack isn't a scrub, I mean, he went up against Nekomamushi and Inuarashi and survived. And let's not forget when he went up against Fujitora, Sengoku and Suru and survived. So, those are the reasons why I believe he's Ashura Doji. But now let's move on to why I believe Tengu is either Kawamatsu or Denjiro. As we haven't been given any other information other than their names to decide between the two. So, we know from the first couple of chapters of Wano, when Tengu and Luffy were conversing, Tengu mentioned that he was waiting for someone. So, I think he was waiting for Kinemon, Konjuro and Raizo to return from their time jump. And, we also know from that conversation that he does have a world renowned sword. I mean, it could be just by chance that he just has a world renowned sword, but why would anyone but a samurai have a world renowned sword? He could have possibly dueled someone for that sword and defeated the previous wielder of the sword. Also, from the silhouette shown to us in chapter 921, the silhouette on the left looks as though it would fit to be Tengu as they're both short. But the only issue I see with this is that Tengu no longer wears a hat, but that could be because he does not want to be recognised by any of the villagers. And Tengu has wings on his back, from the left silhouette, it doesn't look like he has wings, but half of the body was not drawn. And Oda possibly doesn't want to show us the wings, to make it less obvious and unrecognisable. But yeah, those are just the reasons why I believe Tengu could be one of the other three samurais. So now getting on to explaining about the third samurai, which is the left silhouette, the samurai with the long hair. I believe we have not seen this samurai yet. However, just based on speculation, I feel as though this samurai would be the black sheep amongst the three. What I mean by this is that I feel as though the samurai has been corrupted and has completely lost faith in Odin's cause of opening the borders of Wano. But why do I think Oda will make the third samurai a traitor amongst the three? Well, from a narrative standpoint, Oda doesn't like being very repetitive. We have seen that throughout the story, Oda prefers to make arcs and stories unique. And when there are similarities, it's usually after a long time. For instance, Jess Rosa and Alabasta have very similar plots, but they're more than 10 years apart. So, based on that, I don't think Oda will make the samurai on the left a samurai that gave up entirely on defeating Kaido and the Shogun, because that sounds very similar to Shuten Maru. Also, same goes with making the samurai on the left a faithful, loyal old ally to Odin, because that would be similar to Tengu. But hey, these are just my predictions, just a bunch of headcanon. So, how would this all go down? How does Straw Hat and the others persuade Shuten Maru to rejoin the group and Tengu to help take down Kaido and the Shogun? And why would the samurai on the left, which we're now calling Scythe because his hair looks like a scythe, 
This is just to make it more simple for me throughout the remaining of the video. Well, I read on the Oral Jackson website from a submitter that probably Zoro could end up challenging Shutenmaru to a duel, and if Zoro wins, it would convince Shutenmaru to join them. This would help him believe they still are and that they do have a chance, so that's one way I believe Shutenmaru could join the group. Saif, over the last 20 years, lost faith in retaliating against Orochi and saw the benefits of joining Orochi and Kaido and we know Kaido likes to make strong opponents that disobeyed him join his group but why would he lose faith? Well during Kinemon's flashback we know that Okiku, Raizo, Kinemon, Konjuro went 20 years into the future so probably Saif doesn't know about the time jump and believed that they all died on that day along with Odin and his wife but would seeing Kinemon and the others persuade him to join them? I don't have an answer to that question. But anyway, this is just my idea. I just wanted to discuss and speculate on the three samurais whose whereabouts are unknown and link them to already existing characters, as well as theorizing on whether they will join or not join the prophesized nine samurais and help take down Kaido and the Shogun. But what are your guys' thoughts about this speculation of mine? Do you think it's a feasible idea? Is it too out of the realm of possibilities? Have you noticed any inconsistencies or problems with this speculation? Let me know in the comment section down below. I will be reading them and would love talking to you guys. Anyway guys, this is where I end the video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Dislike if you didn't. But thanks for watching.